There is no let up in Yemen suffering. An estimated 3 million people are displaced. Most live in desert encampments like this one, surviving as best as they can, waiting for help from the outside world. Thousands are enduring the cold on the waterless plains in Al Shab camp near the city of Aden in the south. We are suffering due to the cold weather. We need blankets from organization and philanthropists. There is no support for the children in this cold. The coronavirus pandemic, disease and malnutrition are all adding up to make life here extremely difficult. We need a health center in the camp to deal with malnutrition and also to treat pregnant women. Even before the war, Yemen imported 90% of its staple food, wheat, but supplies are now cut off. A sharp fall in the value of the Yemeni rial has led to the prices of essential commodities like food and medicine soaring. In the absence of help from the government and international organizations, most people here are at the mercy of the elements. The prices of everything have increased. Even for bread and vegetables, prices have gone up because the road is cut off, so everything is expensive. For me, I'm a motorcycle driver. My daily income is not even $6, so I cannot afford to eat. Yemen has been mired in war since late 2014, when the Houthi rebels seized control of several northern provinces and forced the internationally recognized government of President Abdel Rabo Mansour Hadi out of the capital Sana'a. A Saudi UAE led coalition then intervened with devastating consequences. In a country racked by conflict, no one knows how many people are dying from diseases such as cholera or from the COVID 19 pandemic. Yemen's health system has all but collapsed. Across the country, doctors say hospital beds are full and they don't know where to put the sick and dying. Dr. Abdul Latif Al Talib is head of Sana'a's Al Thawra Hospital. The war has had a huge impact on the health sector. We've been affected by the brutal aggression on our country and the air and sea blockade. We suffer from a dire shortage of medicines such as cancer drugs, open heart surgery drugs and others. Unfortunately, aid organizations also have a monopoly on what support they offer and we have no say on what help they bring in. All this leads to a severe shortage of service, whether in the Althora hospital or in other hospitals. There are many causes of the war in Yemen, but there are only two consequences, death and the destruction of people's livelihoods. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.